Is it safe? I almost didn't notice the worry in her eyes. It was Thursday night, about seven o'clock. A woman and her daughter came up to me to ask what was happening at the park that night. We heard the music and just had to come over. Do they really keep it open when it gets dark? Is it safe? I didn't hesitate. Of course, that's what we're here for. Violence and its relationship to health and justice was in the news in a big way this summer. And in my own work, I was discovering just how much people don't really want to talk about it. There are so many stories of parks after dark I wish I could tell. Gang members giving free haircuts, sheriffs leading kickball tournaments, neighbors teaching healthy cooking classes, dancing, planning listening circles, and yes, stress and trauma. I always felt safe during my field studies, supported by the Department of Public Health's Injury and Violence Prevention Program, and by the people of South LA who teased me about my Spanish and encouraged me to join them for community walks and youth advocacy. But I could see the power of this woman's question reflected everywhere I went. Is it safe? Yes. Are we safe here together? Yes. I was at that same park a little after seven on a Thursday evening later in July when three people were shot just a neighborhood away. I was shocked that people kept asking me if I felt comfortable coming back. Didn't they know the park made us all more healthy, more whole? Because just as it had when I walked to my car that first Thursday night, the woman's question continues to challenge and inspire me. Can we be safe here together?